Want more food for thought? Subscribe to our channel below. Ah, McDonald's, everyone's favorite guilty pleasure. We've all heard the urban legends and horror stories from fake meat burgers to pink slime chicken nuggets. McDonald's has been struggling with its public image for years, oh. although its sales are pretty much as strong as ever. So is McDonald's as gross and unhealthy as we all think? Or is it possible to live a healthy life eating only McDonald's for a year? Documentary filmmaker Morgan Spurlock kind of attempted to answer this question back in the day with his viral film, Super Size Me. You probably heard of it, right? What's that? You live under a rock? All right, we'll explain. Spurlock's aim was to show just how crappy McDonald's food was nutritionally and how out of control portion sizes were. So he ate McDonald's for a month straight, three times a day. He supersized his meals when asked, meaning his fries and drink were upgraded to massive volumes. And he had to eat every meal on the menu at least once. Let's say you shared Spurlock's no-holds-barred approach to Mickey D's. We're talking huge portions of burgers, fries, sodas, milkshakes, apple pies, three times a day, 365 days a year. What would happen to your body? Well, like Spurlock, you'd be guaranteed to experience extreme weight gain within a couple of days. Your cholesterol would begin to skyrocket, while within a month, you'd experience mood swings, become lazier, and your adult sleepovers would become a lot less fun. It wouldn't be too big of a stretch to imagine that over the course of an entire year, you would gain over 200 pounds and put yourself at severe risk of heart attacks, strokes, and much worse. Terrifying, right? McDonald's food must be pretty terrible to do all that to you simply by eating it three times a day. Well, kinda. But also, no. You're just eating like an idiot. Fans of our channel should know the devastating effects sugary drinks like sodas and milkshakes can have on the human body. It should be no surprise that Spurlock, who was drinking roughly three large sodas a day, experienced rapid weight gain and mood swings. Plus, he was eating buckets full of fries. One large, supersized serving of McDonald's fries every day has over a quarter of your recommended daily calories, all coming from fat and carbs. And Spurlock was eating those multiple times a day. Is McDonald's to blame for offering these products, or is Spurlock to blame for abusing them? After all, a diet of exclusively burgers, sodas, and fries will make you obese no matter where you get them from. A number of people, such as university professors, gym teachers, 80-year-old McDonald's regulars, have replicated Spurlock's experiment, but instead of just shoving fast food items in their face willy-nilly, they used a little nuance and self-control on the consumer side of things. So take the same premise, but substitute things like fries, sodas, and pies for coffee, salads, and oatmeal. Limit your calorie intake to the daily recommended max and make sure you're getting plenty of exercise. Have a burger, but once a day instead of three times a day. What happens then? To be perfectly honest, not a whole lot. You might gain or lose a couple of pounds. Your blood chemistry would be pretty normal. Your physical and mental health would be pretty much the same. You might want to eat some non-McDonald's foods after a while, considering a year of eating the same stuff every day would drive anyone mad, but other than that, you'd be pretty good. This isn't to say that McDonald's healthier options are ideal either. They're still overly processed and chock full of preservatives and additives. Even a relatively simple item like the McWrap clocks in at 121 ingredients, wow. And critics claim that even if you're eating as healthy as possible, your vegetable intake and fiber levels wouldn't be where they need to be. So what would happen if you only ate McDonald's for a whole year? Well, the answer depends on if you're going for a supersized Big Mac combo with a bathtub full of soda and a bucket of fries, or the grilled chicken burger with a side salad. In the end, the choice is up to you. Ba-da-da-da-da, -da -da -da, I'm loving it.